This episode, me and Emily venture deep into Dartmoor to explore an abandoned manor house. We travelled down many long country roads and eventually found what we were looking for. Once inside the manor, our minds were blown with the amount of books that were being kept here. Lost literature going back over a hundred years and most still in amazing condition. Room after room of hidden treasures. Ceiling's falling down. Ready to run away from some crazy farmer. Sliding. Yeah. Just gonna get manky. Look at this. <laughs> Huge manor house in the middle of the, like nowhere, legit. This isn't the kitchen I was going to come into. No. Another kitchen. There's a basement round the corner. It sounds like clocks. You can hear clocks. It sounds like clocks. Well, it's just a ring in my ear from, from the massive wind. Yeah, that was crazy. Look at this, this, this whole unit's coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, like the floor's gonna cave in. it's mad. It's probably. I know we're gonna see some weird stuff inside this place. What is it? What's 2002? It's only got a mile. Oh, it's tiny. What do you think if you live this remotely you need a little more stock? No. I don't know. Let's move out of the kitchen then because I'm pretty sure this place is full of books. There's like library rooms all across. Yeah, what has happened? Is that? Water damage. Must be. I wonder how long this place has actually been abandoned. Look how it's made as well. Look at the walls. I know. Oh. No, that's just damage. Oh. It's actually no way. wallpaper. No. Nah. Yeah. This is from the dam. But obviously behind it. It's just... What? Oh my god. Never quite seen it like this. Oh, my house was clean last week. 
まずい<笑> So this is basically the manor house's library that we're in right now and I'd say a third of the books are sealed but round the corner, just round there is more and it goes round there the other way and all the books are exposed to the weather all the windows seem to be pretty much smashed look at this you cannot go through these books oh can you oh, it's, it's as many as a library this is nuts I don't even know, there's so many, you don't know where to start looking. They must have been some kind of order, weren't they? Oh God, it doesn't even say. What are these? So that's the corridor we were down checking all the books. These ones in the next aisle were not sealed. They don't seem to be in bad condition. Look how tight the, this little book says. Preliminary questions and answers. About what? So we're inside the library of the manor house. I had to travel across tons and tons of farmland and really strange rocks, tours. This place could be magical. It really could be. Did you say it goes round into another room? Yeah. What? Oh my days, there's even more books down here. Loads of sealed ones in, into that room there. Oh wow, I've got that. Okay. Oh, it's so cold for it. Yeah. At least it doesn't smell. Well, yeah. More magazines. Oh, I've got room for a day. No way! <laughs> It's just non-stop. And books in here. That's why it's called a book house. <laughs> oh my God, though, these ones are absolutely gone. Are they gone? Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at this one on the top. Wow. What's happened? It's like melted. So there is stacks and stacks of books in this place. It's like tight corridors packed full of books everywhere you go along. And it's getting like, more mouldy. And less room. All this stuff. Oh my God. The practical builder. <laughs> On this shelf. This whole place looks dodgy made. Another nipple. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> I love how it looks. I mean, it hasn't got long left. No. There's so many books I cannot just concentrate on. I can't read them. No, there's, it's too I'm much. I'm pick on one out of the shelf. That's what I mean. I opened one and it said about trespass. Yeah. First word was trespass. <laughs> I didn't actually realize how many books were in here. I thought it was like two rooms or something, not the whole place packed. It's insane. As much as a city library. The Red Book for Children. Yeah. It's massive. Wow. This is serious. Look, the Green Book for Boys was 1917. And this is just the red book for children. That's him. Mm. Look how old it is wow. though. Just think the children in this manor house mm. probably got read these little stories or uh -huh. poems, I don't really know. I have to hold it to stand for uh, Is it? <laughs> I know. Wonder when the last time this page was even open. Look at it. Looks old, doesn't it? Mm. Let's get to the back. Ugh. Another day of cleaning hands. Scolding skin off. Mm. I was looking for some dates.
I bet there's some real lost literature in here. Like one of a kind, still the only one left. All these bags are full of books. There's not really much room to maneuver around in this building because it's solidly packed with books. Go on adventurers. I gotta scrape through the sides of the buildings and books to try and show you another room. Look outside. The place is in one of the best locations to live in. There is a river just outside with like ancient woods and ancient farm buildings, crazy rocks everywhere, the places. That could even be a well there. Just there. Uh... But look at this place, that's what I'm saying. How is the books meant to survive when this is the only protection from the harsh weather elements around this area because the wind is so strong today. And I think just because it's out in the open, it's like that. So, uh, some serious old stones out there. Oh my God, it's so crazy. It's packed, there's even magazines. Look at the books up there. These books look newer, don't they? No, these, yeah, these are like... Do you reckon it's an old bookshop? That looks a... Sorry. Sorry? What is it? Oh, it is a book. I thought it might have been some type of... All morning prayers. Oh, right. Prayer. Prayer book. Prayer book, yeah. Okay. Look at oh, the that's... amount of books everywhere. I can't believe this. <laughs> Honestly, you never come across an abandoned building with more books in than this. Unless it's a library and it might be able to compete. Snoopy. Treasures of Britain. This is one of them. We're in one. Wow, the books are might be keeping the ceiling up in this place. It, they go across the beams and they're just solidly packed up. That's mad. So the books could be saving this building for now. So what is gonna be upstairs in this manor house? Emily's choking on books or something around here. Wow. What? Oh my days. <laughs> Somebody make that? Yeah, it looks like it. Blotter. Mm. Oh, whoa. What, what is that? If your gusset <laughs> is in two pieces, oh, this is so old, this stuff. <gasps> wow. This is when they were selling like amphetamines to housewives to help them clean and stuff. <laughs> Honestly, they're legit adverts. Anybody translate that for us? <laughs> wow. I don't know. Is it for embroidery? Embroidery. Looks like it. You put it down and transfer on some fabric patterns. And then transfer it, yeah, and then you Wow, that's... Blotter. I mean, there's like loads of them. These ones are still all in their cases, aren't they? This is crazy. I can't even find the light switch because the place is packed full of books. Baby's binky, baby's here. Don't even, this... Can, can you read that? This is such a jolly book. Is what it says. Right. Because you have to. I bet you can't even read it, can you? No. <laughs> it's no. one of those ones you've got to work out what it says.
realize how many books were going to be in this manor house. I do not want to cause an avalanche of bookery. <laughs> Look at you squeezing out a little alleyways full of books. Have they? How old are these board games? Look at that. That's cool. Collect them all. It's quite cold in here because there's no windows. Somebody... Do you think someone knows about this place that's something to do with books? Because shouldn't these be saved? Or does somebody still own them all? Whoa. Is that someone passed away? No. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Mmm. Right. Let's try getting into another room. See if... Because this was basically what we've just shown you is there's two sides to this manor house and we're, we're down and we've just showed you one side it's just packed every single room full of books there? no that's what i'm saying that's the other side of the manor it goes that way is it full of books and we haven't even checked upstairs yet down a couple of steps and into a, another room full of books all right. I love the way that bookshelf bends, though. Look at that. Oh my God! What? The stairs. Look. We could go up a different staircase. <laughs> I'm not sure that one. That's probably not the best way to get upstairs. I did see another one. What is that they've slammed in a window? An old bit of farming equipment? Yeah, I would have thought so. I can't believe it. What are they up there? They all seem to be a similar... Where's the normal rooms with like furniture and stuff? I don't know where Weird. All these readers digest ones. These yeah. All readers digest. Oh wow. Surely the whole downstairs cannot be filled with books. It can't be. I'm not even sure we can get through this door. What is going on? This door is closed. Well, we're in. What the heck's going on there? <laughs> and another one. Oh, a nipple again. Damn, I'm getting demonetized for this whole trip. Like, there's just nipples out in every video. Should we see what's in the next part? Yeah. What's in there? That's what I'm saying. Let's just open that. Let's go that way. This carries on. I thought this was the end of the building. No. Holy. What? Who, who is in the zoo? <laughs> that came out really funny. Because <laughs> of your voice, yeah. Mine was sword and stone, Archimedes. Mm. You can't even read these books because they're, they're all around. This is nuts. Bullshit. Association. Wow. What's that? Winchester Bible? What was that tapping? If any place is going to be haunted, it's going to be something out here in Dartmoor. Oh, God. Yeah, but that was so weird. It sounded like yeah. it come from the other side. Someone knocking. Yeah. Like, quite urgently. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Oh, oh it is it is like a stove. Is it a stove? Oh 
Oh my god, it's so stiff. Oh, you can't even open no, you can't open it. Look at this scenery. It's basically where we are. We legit had to walk a couple of miles through weird terrain and strange rocks. And not sure if this place was even abandoned walking up to it, which is kind of freaky. I think we're at the the end of the building on the bottom floor. <sighs> I really don't know what to expect, what's upstairs. From the old manor house, just thrown to the side. For the, for the books. The books have priority in this place. They've legit packed away this whole manor house and basically turned it into a library. Look at that. So, 1896. Winchester High Street. What? Yeah, no, it's Winchester. It's the old clock. Oh my god. See, what's that? An old ball in there and stuff. Look how old that looks. Ugh. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's difference. No, no. Well, there's books or magazines. Whoa, these stairs don't feel good. Hollow. Oh my God. No, not again. Wow. in a horror film of books. What? <laughs> Look, you go that way. Yeah. And there's books. Oh my God. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. They might have saved a library or something. It's not adding up. No one this buys all this. Seven. It must be millions of pounds worth of books. No. <laughs> that. Oh, sorry. This is surreal. So we've come upstairs and guess what's up here? <laughs> Books. I can't believe this. Should get a better view to what's outside as well, but have to be careful of these floors. Everything is really rotten and the weather is harsh around here. Look at that piece of ceiling. Come straight down there. I don't even know if you can see, but I will go out there. It's quite a fast flowing river over and under real ancient stones. Looks amazing, but it's freezing outside. Splendid book for girls. Look how old. Oh, wow. So I explored a house probably four years ago on the channel and I did call it the book house but I might have to rename that because this is overpowered any library that you come across or anything. <laughs> oh, there's a newspaper here. Let's have a look. 2005. I was hoping that it wouldn't be packed full of books up here. I was hoping for something different. But it is, it is what it is, there's books. I'm gonna go down this tight little corridor where I'm gonna scrape all along, wow. Have you seen anything like this except for in a library? I don't think so. Go 
Oh, it certainly smells like a toilet. Even though it isn't. Super story book for boys. Oh, this floor has not been good. No. Oh, shit. Yeah, that bit says a whole This smells a bit. Yeah. There's loads of mattresses in here and it stinks. Oh, my God. I don't know. It's got a weird smell to it. Look, London Gatwick. Where have you been? Singapore and Dubai. Wow. Dodgy bit of flooring. Yeah. Oh, wow. Don't make it any worse then. That's just toilet Whoa. Oh dear. Yeah, it's getting a bit dangerous. But then if it's got all these books in it, then... Mm. Oh my god. How... What? Incredible amount of books. It just keeps going. Yeah, look, I mean, this is just a room full of... Oh, I don't even know. Oh, Hopefully we can get down there safely. What, down those stairs? Yeah. My oh, God, it just keeps going. <laughs> what is happening? Falling apart. Oh, God, the <laughs> ceiling's falling down. More books. Look how bent the bookshelf is. Warped. Wow. God, it's cold. It is cold. I don't know. My head's trying to figure out the story behind all of this. And it seems like whoever was at the manor house, they stored everything. This is actually personal pictures. Is that? No. No. Here. Oh. Oh, yeah. The manor house has been cleared at some point, so something's happened in the past, and whether people's passed away or... Oh, right. Different picture of uni people. University of Leeds, he's at somewhere else. Here's a book I need to read here. <laughs> Look at this cutlery. See, this is from the old manor. Wow. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. They got hallmarks on too. Or something. They're proper. And I lifted that up and there's this really old newspaper. 1928. Wow! March 29th. Oh my God, March 29th. Why? What? 1928. It's almost a hundred years. 96 years old. They're probably worth loads of money anyway now. Uh, but how old are they? It's weird because some books aren't that old here. No. And then you've got stuff going over yeah, 100. But this is because this is old style Mickey. It's proper Walt Disney legit original prints. Not... Here, 1978. 1978, nice. Uh, published in 1979. Yeah. Right, and it's in great condition. Yeah. Brilliant condition. But where is... Summer. Who? Where is summer? Oh, right. Winter, autumn, spring. <laughs> no! Bring on the summer! <laughs> like almost Tudor stuff. I'm having with their cones on the red. No one ever wore that. <laughs> Traffic cone. Oh, look, he dresses like you. <laughs> Once upon a time, they lived a widower. Let's start grim like that. To Betty as a... What's that? Prize. Oh, yeah. For the first fortnight of September 1927. Wow. Because there's no yeah. organisation to no. where these books are now. That's right. They've even downstairs. got books called Best Ever Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Don't. I wonder what it's about though. A manual of mistakes and improperties. More or less prevalent in conduct and speech. Oh. God no. This is strange. So we're going upstairs again well, and we're already no, upstairs. Massive hole there. Oh my days. Careful then, because that is a hole down to, right down onto some books. Oh, it's proper. Someone's like covered it up so it doesn't look as bad. Shit. 
kind of risking our life here just to show you a few more books. I'll be the one that falls. Please don't fall. Oh yeah, it feels like I'm already going what down. What? What's going on? So there's rope attached to the door handle with a chair keeping it closed. Listen to that. What the heck? So up onto the third floor and it's rammed full of books again. When this place comes down, the whole thing's gonna go because it's gonna trigger every bookshelf. Think of how much this place weighs. Just in literature. <laughs> Look how old that is. This one's actually a bit more organized. So there's a calendar from 2010, which kind of surprises me. So this would have been somebody's office Look. Really got to watch your step around. And the wind is howling across Dartmoor. What are you doing in my office? Reading books again? Yeah. Try and get a look out on this third floor. I just don't want to trigger an avalanche. Look at that. Farmer's sheep right outside. Oh, there's a little fight. Sheep fight. Wow. Straw cottages in Mexico. Just different places around the world. Canada. Paris. Brooklyn Bridge. Look at that, in Egypt. There's books going back 120, 30 years, and then there's books from 10 years ago. And it's all random, it's all put together. So this does look suspicious. Why is this door closed like this? What is it? You can't even get to that window. People's thrown rubbish bags. Or well, that just could be receipts, it almost looks like. But these are kids' books. So here's the... Yeah, you could look for it. Have you found it? Yes. Have you? No way! It's your favourite. But is it? Or is it just like stories with her in? No pictures hardly or anything. Alice in Wonderland. So this is the last room. It's some type of office again. Incredible amount of books. <sighs> Overwhelming. Yes, the Holy Grail. Found it again. Ready for this. Look at this map. How long's that been up there? And what's it of? Guildford. How random. Imagine you jumped and the floor went through and you got past and I just was stuck up here. It is really dangerous, the floor is gone. Whoa, careful.